Welcome to the English News of Bình Phước Television, and we're new with the latest news for today. Bình Phước Youth Union signs cooperation deal with VMBT. non pro weaving becomes intangible cultural heritage. 15 National Assembly 5th Session opens. Quảng Bình working to remove European Commission's yellow card on IUU fishing. Nguyễn Minh Quang, the director of Bình Phước Provincial Department of Information and Communications, Trần Hoàng Trực, Secretary of Provincial Youth Union, and Nguyễn Trường Thùng, director of Bình Phước VNBT, attended an online ceremony for the signing of a cooperation agreement between VNBT and the Bình Phước Youth Union. It outlines six main groups of tasks, with a focus on conducting surveys and developing comprehensive solutions for the digitalization and digital transformation of youth union activities. The parties also committed to jointly building a digital ecosystem. The two parties have already cooperated on several initiatives in the southeastern province, including a project promoting the role of youth in communication campaigns and the provision of online public services to local residents. They have also implemented digital transformation software for youth activities. The agreement is expected to leverage the respective strengths of both parties in mobilizing resources to enhance the efficiency of youth activities, thereby delivering benefits to society as a whole. In the face of serious electricity shortages, the Ministry of Industry and Trade has cooperated with Electricity of Vietnam EVN, to host an online conference launching a power-saving campaign in 2023 the move aims to increase awareness about power-saving practices among businesses, organizations, and individuals. The annual phenomenon, hot weather and drought, have affected hydropower reservoirs, causing serious water shortages. As of May 11, EVN reported that 11 out of 47 large hydroelectric reservoirs had reached or were near dead water levels due to adverse weather conditions. To mitigate the risk of severe power shortages, the Ministry of Industry and Trade has urged agencies, organizations, businesses and individuals to use electricity efficiently. Highlighting the difficult electricity supply in 2023 through local media, the ministry has encouraged the public to promote power-saving practices. It has set a target of cutting total national electricity consumption by at least 2% between 2023 and 2025 and reducing power losses in the entire power network to less than 6% by 2025. The traditional craft of brocade weaving, which is practiced by the non-ethnic minority group in Bồ Yam Mập District, Đồng Nai, Thọ Sơn, Phú Sơn, and Đắc Nhau Camus in Bồ Đăng District, has been officially recognized as a national intangible cultural heritage. The Monong people make up 1.1% of the population in the southeastern province of Bình Phước with over 10,000 citizens. They have been practicing traditional professions for generations, of which brocade weaving is a significant element. To create unique products, artisans must possess a combination of skills, including in weaving techniques, natural material identification, dyeing colors, and pattern making. The recognition of brocade weaving as the national intangible cultural heritage in the communes is testament to its historical and cultural value. It is also recognition of the efforts made by local authorities, the cultural, sports and tourism sectors, and especially the dedication of the artisans and Monong community in preserving and promoting the value of the traditional craft. The 15th National Assembly convened its fifth plenary session in Hanoi on May 22nd morning. During the session, the NA will consider and approve eight draft laws, three draft resolutions. Legislators will also give opinions on nine draft laws and look into socio-economic issues, the state budget, and supervision, among others. 
Notably, NUT deputies will scrutinize reports on supplementary assessments of the implementation of the Socio-Economic Development Plan and State Budget in 2022 and the first months of this year, ratify the State Budget Balance in 2021, and comment on the report on thrift practice and wastefulness prevention in 2022, among others. On the first day of the session, the legislature looked into the personnel work. It passed a resolution approving the Prime Minister's proposal on the appointment of Dankya Khan, Secretary of the Party Committee of Harzang Province, as Minister of Natural Resources and Environment. The NA also decided that, Lo Kuang Man Secretary of the Khan the City Party Committee, holds the posts of Member of the NA Standing Committee and Chairman of the NAS Finance Budget Committee. The central coastal province of Wang Bun has been actively taking a wide range of measures to prevent illegal, unreported and unregulated LUU fishing within its borders in a bid to have the European Commission's yellow card warning against Vietnam seafood exports removed. The Quang Bin Sub-Department of Fisheries, in coordination with its border guard forces on sea routes, have regularly held patrols to provide local fishermen with legal knowledge to help them better understand the issues surrounding IUU fishing. Quang Bin has identified and handled 31 violations since the beginning of this year, issuing fines totaling more than 630 million Vietnam dong. Despite the difficulties, the province is working hard to remove the European Commission's Euro card to promote the fishery sector's sustainable development and maintain security and order at sea. Vietnam ranks second in Southeast Asia in the number of app downloads with $3.5 billion last year, according to Data.ai. Data.re said Vietnamese consumers spent about 900 US dollars per minute on this type of service. This trend has fueled the strong growth of several types of apps related to mobile banking, e-wallet and digital payment. The habit of using apps also contributes to the development of digital technology businesses. According to Data.re, users are spending a lot of time on mobile applications. An increase in users' demand has resulted in a high number of app downloads in many countries, including Vietnam, it said. Vietnam has 94.2 million smartphone users and 82.2 million mobile broadband subscribers, accounting for 74.3% of the national population by December last year, according to the Ministry of Information and Communications. The number of Internet users in the country reached 72.1 million, ranking 13th in the world. Ministers applauded the government's decreed on test payment deadline extensions, which helped them to have capital for maintaining production and ensuring workers' benefits. The extension period is five months for businesses expected to pay the VAT in June and the second quarter, along with a delay of four and three months for those with their payment deadline in July and August, respectively. Individuals, households, and businesses operating in priority sectors are entitled to a six-month deferral of land rent in 2023 from the 31st of May. The decree takes effect from the date of issuance to the 31st of December 2023. In addition to the tax payment deadline extension, the government agreed with the proposal by the Ministry of Finance on the 2% reduction of the value-added tax rate for all goods and services subject to the tax rate of 10% along with a 20% cut in the percentage of goods for that calculation for business establishments. When reducing taxes and fees, businesses will have more room to keep or reduce product costs, he said, adding that businesses and people expect the support policies will be approved and take effect soon. That was 10 minutes of VVTV News. To watch this news again, you can download our mobile app VVTV Go and visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for staying with us and see you next time.